Tori is a bird. Hi. So this is or a chicken or bird. Yep, niwa tori is chicken, but if you're just talking about chicken you're eating, it's probably going to be just to tori because who needs to be specific? Just like we don't say we get chicken eggs. Um, but yeah, tori is a bird. In this context, it's not going to be a chicken. Spoilers. Um, so bird is good enough for now. Um, can you read this little line for me? Hi. Hey. Um, tori wa sue ni tomate iru. This kanji right here is it's not, not sue. It is branch. Hello, that my internet speed is very slow. Ah, sorry. That's okay. My internet. It's funny that we weren't actually kicked out. Waiting for the screen to. Yeah, it's been slow. But do you remember what branch is? While we were waiting for the screen to load. What could branch be? Branch. Um. I forgot what the branch is. Branch is e da. E da. E da. E da. Kuroi tori no, I'm sorry. Kuroi tori wa eda ni tomate iru. Tomate is to hold on to. Kind of. It does mean that in this context. Um, but tomaru on its own means um to stop. Tomaru. No kanji for us anymore. Oh, to stop. But here it means to perch. So... To perch onto. Hi, hi. So the black bird perch on the branch. Perfect. Eda ni. Right. Do you know what a ha is? A ha is a leaf. Perfect. So now your job is to remember that this kanji right here is ha. The nice little key on the bottom. Kind of. Um, can you read this line for me? Sobiteru taiboku no eda no ha wa midori chanai. The leaf. The leaf that is on the branch of the great of the large tree, taiboku, that is sobiteru, that is towering. Um, that leaf, it's not, it's janai, it's not green. Perfect. Odori janai. You know what? Kare kakatta me? Kare kakatta. From kareru. Kare kakatta. Kare kakatta is withering. Yeah. It's currently withering. Yeah. Perfect. Um... Can you read Sorry. this line for me? So you can see it. Sore wa kuroi ha janai janate makura makuro na tori datta no de sono ki wa kareta. That is not janakte, a, a black leaf. That is not a black leaf. Um, makurona toridatta. It was a black bird, a truly black bird. No that, however. That's no need. So no ki wa no that is therefore. Right. So no 
木は枯れた。That tree、um, is wither, withered. Yep, it is dead. Because、Basically, the tree the with. Tree. Oh, the. Yeah, the tree. The tree. Yep. The tree is dead. So, so. so it's not a leaf, but that of a blackbird. Right. Perfect. Um, do you remember what this kanji was? Die from the like the price or the bill,、yep. like the, the、exactly. cost of the meal. The cost. So, the idea the of cost,、massage. yeah, exactly. Perfect. Die. So, the、I'm、idea、sure、of、die. cost is that you are exchanging money in return for something, right? In return for food. Or in return for like help or something like that, in return for a service. So you're exchanging something. This is why that same kanji dai is used in kawari, which means in exchange for. This normally will have ni afterwards and will be modified by like something. So kawari ni, so in exchange for. So how do, how do you read this kanji when wari、yeah. goes after it? Kawari. Perfect. So,、it's、Kawari. Let's go read this line. Hi, this line is Eda ni. Ha no Kawari ni. Tori ga tomate iru. The bird perch on the The eda, the branch.、Um, and that bird and the action of perching is being modified by kawari ni. So it was a ha no. Were there any ha's on this branch? There were, there were. There, there were no leaves there.、Yes. It was replaced, kawari ni, by the tori ga. Exactly.、So、the tori replaces. But I'm confused because it had this ni. Usually, when there's two verbs, it takes the te form. So, well, there's not here, two verbs not here. Kawari isn't a verb. So, kawari take ni. So, kawari is a noun, and then it takes the ni particle, right? Yeah, it does. So, this is to some extent modifying the verb here. Saying instead of verb, specifically, it literally it's saying instead of leaves stopping on the branch, there were birds stopping. So, it doesn't fully allow you to replace the tori with ha. But the idea behind it is that rather than there being leaves on the branch, we have birds on the branch, even though the verb isn't actually the verb you would use in that context for the leaves being on a branch.、Um, it is allowed to be used because the point is that the birds are on the branch instead of whatever else could have been on the branch. So the idea behind this is an agreement. That makes any sense. So, kawari basically says, in exchange to what you would think. For example, we saw this before with、um, saifu kawari uh, uh, himo. It said, so in a way, it's, it said、um, a, a wallet instead of a. Sorry, it's a. It's it's string instead of a wallet, but specifically it is modifying the verb that comes after here, which is saying a string goes through some coins instead of using a wallet. So even though you would not put a string through the wallet, you're still modifying that verb be because of the idea of why this verb is here. That makes any sense. So it's describing the action, the action of birds being on the leaf. 
like in the same areas that you would expect there to be leaves on the tree, but there's no leaves on the tree. It, it is a little bit complicated to think about it when with adverbs, but that that is what it's doing. It is literally modifying the verb in order to describe the verb. You kind of think about it as yoni in a way, you know, like how that's for similes. So it's just for illustration purposes. Hi. Okay. Hi, it's like yoni. Wakatta. Right. So let's go read the line from the book. Yoku miru to kuroku mieta no wa ha no kawari ni makuro na tori ga bishiri to tomatte iru kara datta. Right. For our purposes, you can ignore the kara. This kara is here because the last sentence she said, I saw black branches. And this is basically an explanation for why he saw black branches. Um, but it, it sounds weird in English to have the kata in there, but you can ignore it. So the first clause say, I look well, I have a good look at it. Hi. When you look at it closely, what and do you I I look closely and Kuroku Mieta no wa the thing that I've saw the Mieta no it's Kuroku here modifying Mieta. Hi, so this is another example like the Kawari. No, 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 that no, I'm it, sorry. no, you're right. Kuroku is modifying Mieta. That is correct. That's what it's grammatically doing. It says you see it blackly. It's a literal translation here. Um, but it, in English, we don't really say that. But that's because mieta in Japanese is used interestingly. It, it tends to be like, like yoni mieta normally describes actually what you saw rather than being as if you could see. It's like a, it's like interesting how adverbs modify mieta. So it just means what you saw. The thing that I saw that was black. So you could say mieta kuroi no, but then, um, this just kind of flows better because mieta is already referring to the appearance of the object. So you might as well continue describing how you were look seeing that object as you were seeing it as black. The thing that I saw was black. The black thing that I saw, kuro mieta no wa ha no kawari ni in place of a leaf is makura makuro na toriga a truly black bird right bichiri to i forgot the verb bichiri so money this oh, it's not a verb. is a sound effect that's how you do have the you do have to sound the verb over there this means being cramped to. together close together Was this the same sound effect when the bridge? Yes. Was I think like it was. Oh. Um, oh well, na. specifically, it was um, shishimeki out, which I guess uh isn't the same word, but it, it's the same kind of idea. Um, shishimeki out is actually and a verb. This together. is just a sound effect. Bishiri. Being crammed together. So they might have Bishiri like this might have existed to. first and then made this not effect. So then is tomate it purchase. Right. It's tomate. Kara it was. Yep. So because basically it says because cramped, there were black birds perch. cramped together. <laughs> all together on that branch that is why i saw those black things rather than leaves so basically the reason why i saw right. black things was because there's a bunch of birds on the tree okay kanji check what was expressionless in japanese um mu 
無費用帳。Perfect. 無費用帳。無費用帳。How about、um, cobblestone? It's meaning expression l o v Cobblestone is Ishi、um, Tadama. Plus Tadami. Ishi Tadami. Hi. Ishi、And、Tadami. Last、no. question on this、Niwa. page. What's this kanji? It's a d a branch. Perfect. Nice.、Okay. It looks so much like s t u e r It does.、Um, both of them have the key、um, kanji in the corner, but I don't have kanji writing abilities.、Um, how do you read this word? Mitsumete is to peek into. Close. That's no zoku. Or to stare at. Yes. To stare at. Mitsumete. So here, rather than looking into the, the hole, he's more just staring at the poke hole, which is very similar. Do you want to read this word?、Uh, Kagi ana. Oh, sorry. It hasn't loaded yet. Oki、oh, iro. Hi. Ki iro. Yellow color. Yep. And just so you know, there's two E's here. Because ki and then iro. I just feel like that's an easy mistake、Hi. to make because I've done that. So it ends with iro. What does it start with? Ki. Oh, yeah. What color is this? It's yellow. Yep. Yellow. Nice. Let's go read this line then. Ki. Ki. No eda no ha wa kiro da. The leaves of the branch of the trees are yellow. Perfect. Can you read this for me? The moment, money is still loading, I think. Gosh. Well, the word you're going to see is going、uh, to mean vivid.、Az、vivid. So it's azayaka. Perfect. And this is a na、azayaka. adjective. Cool.、When、vivid. You can see it,、yes. you'll have a line to read it from the book. Hey. Tori tatiwa azayagana. Kiro no me de oretachio mitsume nanika o matte iru mitai ni otomo tate zini chito shite iru. Um, one is what does the construction me de mean with well, my eyes? Yes, with eyes. Whose eyes? I'm guessing Khan's eyes. Nope. I, how would I use my me to look at ore tachi? <laughs> right? How could I? I guess if you have a mirror, you could do that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I got confused.、Um, it's the Tori Tachiwa. Hi, hi.、Ne. So the birds use their eyes. What the kind eyes of eyes the did they have? Their eyes are Kiro no. So、right. they are yellow. Perfect. They use And their... that it's Azayaman. Azayakana is vivid.、Right. It's a vivid yellow. Yeah. It's a strong yellow. They're beady eyes. And with those eyes, with those eyes, or a tachio at us, they tsume, they mitsume, they stare. Right. At us, they stare. And、uh, nani ka o matteru. 
they waiting for something? Were they? Mitaini, it seems. Right. Yeah, I think it seems that they waiting for something. Definitely. Um, but the particle ni after mitai, right. I haven't seen that before. Well, it happens often. Um, the it just means they're modifying saying, the verb here. We are modifying the verb following. So tatezu. Tatezu ni. Oto. Oto mo. There's a sound. Is there a sound? Otomo tatezu ni is with our cell. Yep. The bird jitto shite ba. But more specifically, it's without even a sound. Yes. Jitto. Straight at us, like. That is kind of what without it Without moving. Jitto means no moving, yes. So as if waiting for something, the orange birds didn't make a noise and were still we're, we're frozen, not making any noise, as if waiting for something, as they gazed at us with their vividly yellow eyes. Do you know how to read this word? Hi. Kataho. Kataho. Perfect. Then we got two more bold words for you. This is Ryu Ryokawa on Hi. either side or on both side. This one is Tatemono. Perfect. Building. Tatemono. I'm sorry. Tatemono no renda. Right. No renda. Um how do you read this word? Kat um the second kanji is gawa. Yeah. The first is Gawa side. First is Kata. Yep. Katagawa. katagawa. What do you think Katagawa means? Katagawa is one of the side. Yep, one of the sides. Perfect. Nice. So here's probably your last line of the day. You might have extra time. Looks like we'll have extra time. はい。Nobody turns at the building on one of the side. Niwao Aruki He walks on the courtyard, Aruki, and then dashita, meaning he appears. Good he guess. Dasu. So dasu does mean to appear. And this, when you have um dasu with a verb of human could decide to do this verb, this means that Nebudi was walking earlier and then paused the moment and now is continuing to walk. But so it insinuates there is a moment where he wasn't walking and now he's restarting. So that's it means restart when the verb has like I can decide to do the verb. So if it was mm. just when he so first he starts restart it, that'd be Haji made it. So that's walk to start to restart. He restarted walking. Hi. Where do you think he walked to? He walk towards or not towards ni tatemono ni walk towards so at the building his at his at his mansion. So he at, wasn't at, at this building. Mukatte means to turn toward. So it's turning toward the building, not turning at the building. So basically, Nebudi is over here. You see this big ass bird in a courtyard, and he picks one of these buildings. It doesn't tell us which. And he starts walking toward it, specifically restarts, going through the courtyard. Hi. 
So this word right here was is is um starts with tie. Do you remember what it ended with? It meant big tree. I say tai ki. Good guess. It's actually bo good kind of like moku from moku I'm yobi. Hi. But it's boku, which but is it, extremely confusing. It had a downshift. Yep. Because of tide. Yeah. Tai boku. Hi. You know what oti tukumet? A large tree. Hi. Oti tsuku. Ochi is to fall. It can Suki. mean to fall, but ochi tuku is like an idiom. I'm sorry, I remember now. It means to calm oneself down. Yes, it does to, mean to, to calm down. Perfect. Can you read this little phrase for me? Hi, it's um Kuroi Eda no. Tai boku. What does that mean? So the large tree with the black branch. Perfect. You know what nakusu means? The large tree that has nakusu. Nakusu. So this na this kanji means isn't this kanji mean like husband, is it? It does show up in the word for wife, I think. Like You're right. Be... Fu, like fu, that's that part. I don't think it has that, um, mm -hmm. but I can't show you. Um, but this shows up in ushinao, which means to lose. So nakusu means to lose something. Nakusu. Uh, um, nakusu is to lose. Hi. Hi. So this is used sometimes with ojitsuku. Lose something, not to lose. Can you read the sentence for me? Ojitsuku. Onna ko shaku wa ochitsuku o nakushita. Meaning she, the Duchess loses control. She loses her calm. Yep, she lost her calm. Perfect. Cool. So now I have a grammar thing for ni tsurete that we um saw a little bit ago. um, Which is, uh, for example, can you read the sentence for me? Uh, kawa ni tsuzuku ni surete ni oi ga tsuyoku natta. Hai. Kawa ni chikazuku ni tsurete ni oi ga tsuyoku natta. Kawa ni chikazuku ni tsurete ni oi ga yoku natta. Hai. So this need to the The smell means... becomes strong. Hi. When what happens? As I come close to the river. Perfect. So a lot of times you'll see you did it that with naru or not that. The tense has to do with if you sit want to say it, the smell became strong as I was going to closer to the river versus like it just it depends if you want the sentence past tense or current tense. So for our last Hi. section, we're gonna see if you can make the sentence as I calm down, the birds lose their calm, just using the same verb calm for both um sections. So you'll have the calm verb in there twice. As I calm down, the bird loses their calm. Ochitsuku ni surete. Um, tori ga ochitsuki nakusu. What particle do you think could should go between ochitsuki and nakusu? I should take ga. Good guess. It is o. Oh, no, I'm sorry. O. That is the item one. Nakusu. Hi. Hi. Um. 
or maybe that Tori no might have been worked better instead of a Tori ga. Uh, Tori ga is what you want. The birds lose their calm. And in this case, I think it's a Nakushi. The bird loses the calm. Nakushi naru. Oh, he's becoming. But now, now I want to like stare at the grammar. So Nakushi ni naru. Uh, yeah, it it's a little bit odd because you shouldn't use nakusu like that. I probably should do a different verb. Um, but that was like an excuse that I wanted to use. Um, nitsurete. <laughs> it's not needed for the next grammar point, but I was Aye. like, we need it because I know I want an excuse to teach it. Um, yeah, it should be the same Money. nakusu for now. You see that verb. Mm, I have a quick question about yeah. this construction here. So okay. here I see you uses yoku natta. Hai. So it becomes strong. Yes. So we have the verb yoku and then we added natta. Why couldn't we do the same for nasu, nakusu? Why can is also nakusu well, plus na natta? The issue is that nakusu, as, as my, my problem, is that nakusu is a verb and you cannot do verb plus um, naru. You can do negative verb plus naru, so naku san naku. You could say that, which is it will not become being lost. Um, but for whatever reason, you can't actually grammatically do um verb plus naru, so naku shimi naru is not really what you're supposed to do. Uh, to some extent, stem form is kind of like a way to cheat, but it's you're not really supposed to do that so i um would have to do a different thing here that would be some kind of noun that could take naru mm. hi maybe next time we pay attention to this naru form uh yeah it just it's just it because me well like me we already know it can't take verbs like you can kind of do tabe ni iku, right? Because that's stem form. Stem form allows things to be nouns. So theoretically, nadu could take stem form, but I remember like Googling that once to see if you could say like tabe ni nadu, and my Google told me no. So it only takes negative. Money, what happened? We don't use. What happened when we don't 